just UVC LED sterilization. FDA approved apparently, and uh, we're gonna check this bad boy out. Supposedly, this will sterilize all of your masks, your phone, and uh, eliminates up to 99.9% .9 of germs and bacteria. There we go. And here she be. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna open it up. Here we are. This is the wand, and it opens up like this. And uh, that's the lighting, the LED lighting. And it closes that way. And uh, it has a USB port right here that you got to plug in. And that's how you're going to charge it. Uh, right here is the cord. We got to get that out of there. And uh, it's just a basic USB cord, just like all the ones you probably have for every other device that you have. You got one that goes in a block and one goes in the device. And we're going to go ahead and charge that bad boy right now. Uh, I've got some blocks. It doesn't come with a block, so you got to have your own. And uh, luckily for me, I have one. So plug in the USB here, plug it into the uh, electrical socket, and then plug it into the device. All right, so when you get that thing in there deep, this thing kind of lights up a little bit. So you got to make sure that you push that out all the way on. You can see it's lit. And it has some warnings on here. Prohibit direct sight to eyes and skin. Wearing the anti-UV goggles for safety. This product is not suitable for children. So we have to have anti-UV goggles? Where do we get those? Oh shit, I guess I gotta buy something else now. To pull this out, we're gonna find some, some instruction cards, which you can look at it and you can check them out. It's got tips. Oh, it says, please wear protective goggles while using. Use the compliance adapter for power supply. Otherwise, the product will get damaged. Fully charge the wand before using. Keep operation away from strong magnetic fields. Reduce the unpleasant smell of towels. It's more obvious when you operate for more cycle performance. Study the manual carefully and thoroughly. In order to improve user experience, there will be changes in product features without prior written notice. Well, anyway, so, I mean, we got to read all this because this thing is a little bit more dangerous than what I thought. So we'll go through all this first. Make sure we don't burn our eyes. It says I got to wear goggles when I do it. Oh, shit. All right, so it says how to use it. Please get it fully charged with the compliance adapter, which we did. Unlock the child safety lock, which we haven't done yet, but we will. Double click sterilization button to scan back and forth five to 10 times as a whole cycle extra single click will stop sterilization instantly. Once sterilization complete, fold the flip panel and restore to child safety lock. Sterilization for any surfaces such as hotels, baths, safety protection, built-in gravity sensor switch will stop automatically when the product is turned over. Sterilization principles, UVC LED produces UV light at a wavelength of 260 to 240, which kills the DNA and RNA. UVC waves can reduce the unpleasant smell of decomposing and molecular structures and orders. I may have to buy some UV glasses. All right, so you gotta study this in detail. You have to get these goggles if you're gonna use this thing. Otherwise, you could blind yourself. So I've got the goggles, I got the wand. We're gonna check it out and see how it works. All right, so before you use the wand, you wanna make sure that you put on your glasses. I'm gonna to try to fit them over my other ones. And they kind of fit pretty good there. So this is supposed to protect us from up to 400. And this one here, it does, the LED wavelength is from 260 to 280 nanometers. So that's, I guess, really, that's the wavelength, and um, which will burn your eyes out and could um, burn your skin. So you don't want to, <laughs> I guess you don't want to burn your eyes out, right? So the thing itself is right here, and the way it, you open it up this way, and then there's a button on it here. So when it tilts up, it's supposed to automatically turn off. So we're going to try it here in a second. And um, we'll see how she works. You can see all the LED lights. And if I turn it around, give you a little idea. It's got a lock on it here. And once you push the lock off, 
Let me show you. Now it's ready to go. And when you do that, you're going to see a little light flicker here. So when I close the lock here, I don't know if you can see it. I can get my finger on it. Here it is. All right, hang on. See that little light flash? That tells you this sucker's loaded for barrel. It's ready to go. All right. That means you're going to get some burn coming out of it. All right. So let me go ahead and put that down here. So I'm going to lock it for a second. These are cloth masks, but this is a surgical mask here. And so if you're a nurse or somebody like that, you might want to, you know, get one of these. All right. So anyway, first thing we got to do is get it off lock. Now it's ready to go. And you're supposed to wave it five to 10 times. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring it up here. I'm going to go back and forth over these five to 10 times. So switch the child lock from lock to unlock. And we've done that. All right. Double click within 0.2 seconds to activate the device. Single click to deactivate. This is a safety feature to avoid to be activated by children under the ages of five accidentally. Scan the surface back and forth at close range to sterilize for five to 10 times. There will be a slight current noise during sterilization. Built-in gravity sensor, the UVC LED light shuts down instantly once you turn it up. So you gotta hit it twice. So here we go. All right, I heard a noise. And there we go. And as you can see, it's doing it. And we're going to do five times. One, two, three, four, one more time, five. And then I click it and it turns off. That's it. Next, what I've got to do is I've got to flip these over because I got to do both sides, right? Especially on this mask here. And we're going to do the exact same procedure and we're just going to repeat it. And before you lay your mask down, you can also sterilize the surface that you're going to do them on. So again, you got to do a double click, right? One, two, and there it goes. And we're going to go over. You can see how it, see how it lights it up. That's one pass. Two passes. three passes, four passes, and five passes. And let's get this one really good. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do one more here. One, two. Now we're gonna try something. I'm gonna see if the gravity thing works. Here we go, ready? Turns off, come back, comes back on. Try to, let's do it over this one. Ready, up, turns off, down, working. So what that does, that, that's like a fail safe so you don't put it in your eyes. That's how you sterilize your masks. And if you notice, it just kind of flips over like this. And that's how you store it. Very simple. And you, if you got kids around, put that lock on. All right, that's that baby right there. Make sure you got your goggles on. <laughs> All right, so anyway, you can also do your phone and your glasses. All right, so I read about this. This is ultraviolet C or UVC, which is wavelength is 280 to 100, and it's shortwave germicidal, and this is what kills the DNA and the RNA in the viruses and the bacteria. So this is what you want, but you don't want to get this in your eyes. So even though I'm wearing these goggles, I'm shutting my eyes as I do my wave, just in case because I don't want to take any chances with my eyesight. The higher wavelengths at 400 are what you find with black lights that people use in their bedroom with those day glow posters. So don't forget to flip all your items around and get every angle and edge of them because you want to make sure that there's nothing on those items like your phone and glasses. So you just close it up and put your lock on. Done. All right. So anyway, these are professional OD6 190 NM to 490 NM wavelength violet blue laser safety glasses. So they're supposed to protect me pretty well against this UV light. Kind of cool looking. <laughs> I 
Dig them. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on stuff I do. Yeah.